Like many Americans, the happiest time of year may not be so happy. Holidays often come with the stress of wondering how you can do all the things you want to do during the holidays. Money is the number one thing people ask for for Christmas. However, most of the money received often goes to pay back holiday debt and loans. Let's talk about ways you can make some extra cash leading up to the holidays to help reduce your stress and help you have the best Christmas season ever. There are a few app-based companies that are easy to set up and can help you make extra cash before you know it. DoorDash, Instacart, Lyft, and Uber are some of the great ways that you can make extra money. I'm sure there's many more and the best thing to do is to find one that works for you and stick with it. This presentation is going to take you through the steps to help you get started to drive for Uber and I will share some of the great tips to help you make the most you can while you're out driving. The first step to becoming a driver is to go to the app store on your smartphone and find the Uber driver app and download it. It is different from the Uber Rider app, which I would also recommend downloading, and I'll explain that later. After the apps are downloaded, you are all ready to sign up. As you go through the sign up, you will input basic information about yourself. You will also need to have your car registration and insurance handy. You will be asked to upload photos of them. You will also need a four-door car that is no older than 10 years old in Idaho. Other states may have different requirements on your vehicle. You will also upload a photo of your driver's license. You will be authorized to drive in the state where your license is from. Then once you have completed these steps, it may take Uber a day or two to get it processed. They will run a background check and after that you are ready to start making extra money. In the app, you will be able to see how much each ride pays. Uber does keep a portion of the amount the rider pays, but the amount you see in the app is what you get paid. It's not bad giving them a portion since they are the ones that are actually running the background of the app and also help. You will also be able to select if you want to just take passengers, pick up food deliveries, or both. You will be expected to keep your car clean and ready so you're ready to pick up people as soon as you go online. With Uber, you set your hours. You can drive for a long period or if you just need 20 bucks, you can go out and make 20 bucks and then be done. In the Uber app, when you get a ride or food delivery, the map in the app will take you to the pickup and then navigate you to the final destination. Riders wanting to go somewhere different have to change their destination in their app so you will be paid the correct amount. There are several tips and tricks that I have learned over the past four years that have really helped me maximize the amount of money I make when I drive. First, I mentioned earlier to also download the Rider app. Now when you go out, you can open the Rider app to see where other drivers are. You will want to make sure that you are in a good area, but not in an area that is already heavily saturated with other drivers. You will want to move a little further out and then wait for your rides there. You will want to stay in a populated area, but as you drive, you will learn what areas work best for you. Remember, if you are doing food orders, stay near popular restaurants that offer Uber Eats. Also, remember to check local calendars for events. You will get rides to the event and also rides people taking rides home after the event. Also, don't forget to keep your tips are a great bonus and you can take cash tips or the passenger can also tip in the app after the ride. You can see a running total of what you have made. It keeps a daily and weekly total. You can cash out up to three times a day. While you are making money with Uber, you need to remember that your gas and cart maintenance needs to come out of what you make. 
I usually try to keep about 10% of what I make in a savings account to replace tires, brakes, and other maintenance that I may need. You will also need to keep track of your mileage for your taxes and know that you will have to claim this money on your taxes. When you cash out, Uber will either put the money into your regular bank account for a 50 cent fee or you can get an Uber debit card that has no fees for you when you cash out. I set goals for what I want to make when I go out. It may be $30 or $50 a day, or on the weekends when I can drive longer, maybe $100. It usually takes me two to three hours to make $30 to $50, and on weekends it might take me four to six hours to make $100. During the holidays, I like to drive in terms of gifts. What am I driving to buy today? Getting extra Christmas cash by driving with Uber is a great way to reduce your holiday stress. It's like you're being an Uber clause. You can set your schedule and drive when you can and stop whenever you want. You will have presents galore and be ready to enjoy the best Christmas without the stress of how you will do it all and not knowing how you will pay for it and not having after holiday debt. Thanks. Hope to see you out on the road.